Yum, yum! In previous versions of Modo, if you had V-Ray installed, you had all these V-Ray buttons on your Modo toolbar. Now obviously, these were really useful if you were using V-Ray. However, they did come with a couple of drawbacks. First of all, they took up a lot of space on the toolbar, and also they appeared in all of the tabs, not just the V-Ray Render tab, but also the Model tab, the UV Edit tab. Basically, these buttons were there, whichever tab you were in. So partly as a result of this, in Modo 12, the kits were hidden by default. So now, instead of having all the kit icons visible on the Modo toolbar, you have to click this kits button and that opens the popover, which you can then pull off and pin. Now, you can use the workbench to put some of these icons back in your toolbar, but now there isn't really room to fit all of the V-Ray icons anymore. And besides, it would be nice if the V-Ray icons only appeared when you were in the V-Ray layout. Now, of course, you can use the kits popover whenever you like. However, because it's a floating window, it's a little bit irritating. It would be nice if you had the icons docked somewhere. So I'm gonna show you how you can dock all of these icons in your V-Ray layout. So the first decision is where to dock them. Well, I think a good spot for them would be just above this tab viewport here. So the first step is to split this viewport vertically. And to do this, I'm going to use the slash and burn pi menu, which is control shift tilde. And doing that, you can use the split vertical option. Alternatively, you could come up here and right click on the little circle and split vertical from here. Next, I'm going to click on the little arrow at the top right of the viewport and in the list that appears, I'm gonna to go to application and I'm going to select form view. And then I'm going to right click at the top of the form view tab and select replace all tabs with this tab from the resulting menu. So I now have a blank form view and I want to replace it with my V-Ray toolbar. To do this, I'm going to click on the little cog which is at the top right. And here is a form view options popover. And so I'm gonna click on the exports field and that's gonna bring up a list which is searchable. So in the search panel, I'm gonna type capital V hyphen and that brings up two options relating to V-Ray. I'm going to select V-Ray Horizontal Toolbar. And that populates my form view with the same set of V-Ray buttons which are found in the kit's popover. So I'll dismiss the form view options now. And now I just need to do a little bit of cleanup. So I'm gonna to go to the circle at the top left of my form view, and I'm gonna select the min header option, and that just hides the title bar. And then I'm gonna resize my panel to the size that I want. I'm gonna right click on the top left once again, and I'm gonna lock the height. And so now I have my V-Ray toolbar visible in my V-Ray layout. And the beauty of this is that it only appears in the V-Ray layout. If I go to a different layout, you can see that it's not there, but I have it in V-Ray for when I need it. So I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.